This is the 2013 Electricity and Electromagnetism paper for Level 2 Physics. Uh, question 1. The X-ray tube Tevita is working on the design of an X-ray tube for hospitals. The diagram below shows the main parts of the X-ray tube. Electrons are emitted by a filament in the cathode. Um, and where have I got? I've got my little marker here. There's the cathode, filament in the cathode. Um, a high, uh, and you can see the little electron zooming across, high voltage between the cathode, negative electrode, so it's negative, uh, and the anode positive electrode uh, causes them to accelerate until they crash into the anode. Okay. Um, massive an electron, charge on an electron, and then diagram to help us. So initially I'm not sure that those details are going to be um, hugely important, but to start with anyway. We've got approximately uh, 1 times 10 to the 15 electrons leaving a cathode every second. Calculate the size of the current. Um, we have the formula for current being the amount of charge passing a point over time. And this is every second, so that's our time. And the charge takes that many electrons times by the charge on an electron, E. Um, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, so I'm not going to do the full calculation, but the full mathematical formula you would use would be the current equals uh, 1 times 10 to the 15, that's a lot of electrons, times by um, times by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs per electron. And then you would divide it by one second if you really wanted to, but dividing by one isn't going to change the answer. Uh, B. The X-ray tube is in the Earth's magnetic field. Okay, this is interesting. We're linking magnetic fields and electric fields. The direction of the magnetic field is from the cathode to the anode. From the cathode to the anode. So if you remember, I, will, I remember when we can go to the diagram, um, the ma magnetic field is from the cathode to the anode, so let's just mark that in red. Cathode to the anode, that's our magnetic field. And our electric field is also in that direction, E. Um, coming down, state the size of the magnetic force on the moving electrons and explain your answer. Well, um, it should be zero. So this is a state question, so there's no calculations. Um, that always gives you a good clue, but it'll be zero newtons, if we're being strictly correct, including our units. And why we're explaining our answer is that because the motion um, of electrons is parallel, here's my parallel lines, the motion of the electrons is parallel to the magnetic field. And to have a, um, a force due to the magnetic field, they have to be moving perpendicular, they have to cut the field. Okay, so that's your key idea. Um, C, <clears throat> the electrons start from rest and reach a speed of 3.0 times 10 to the 7 meters per second. By considering the energies involved, that's a huge clue, uh, calculate the size of the voltage between the cathode and the anode. Okay, um, so we, you, you could do this without a lot of knowledge um, of what's going on, um, as long as you understand the energy has to be conserved. So between the two plates, the kinetic energy that is gained by the electron when it reaches the, the it's not plates, but you know, that's how we consider it. Once it reaches the, that far plate, the velocity it's gained, uh, starting from rest, so in reaching a speed of 3.0 times 10 to the 7 meters per second, that's a tenth the speed of light, um, the velocity it's gained gives it the kinetic energy, and all of that kinetic energy has come from potential energy that was stored in the field at the start um, of, of the motion. So we can do an equivalent thing there. We can say that um, half mv squared is equal to the, um, the force due to the electric field times by the distance. The work done is equal to the kinetic energy gained. That's what we're saying here. Okay, um, so we've got the mass of the electron, we've got the velocity given, so everything on the left-hand side can be calculated. That's all fine. We've got the distance of separation, I believe. Let's just go up and have a quick check in case we don't. If we don't, we've got to be a little bit trickier. Ooh, we don't. We don't have the distance of separation. Um, what else are we going to do? The voltage is the energy. Um, where are we? Maybe we have to approach it in a different way. The voltage is the energy per charge. 
Um, we can definitely calculate the kinetic energy um, on the left hand side. Um, that energy will be the same as this energy here and uh, we do have the charge which is the charge on a single electron so okay there we go we can calculate it instead of doing this we would do the kinetic energy because we're trying to find the voltage calculate the size of the voltage between the cathode kinetic energy divided by um, the charge on an, on an electron there we go and half every screw we've got the mass on the electron above we've got the velocity and we've got the charge on the electron so yes we can calculate all those things sorry for misleading you initially D. Um, Tavita decides to reduce the distance between the cathode to the anode by half. Um, explain what fully what will happen to the size of the force acting on an electron, and to the kinetic energy gained by an electron. Okay, so uh, the force is equal to the electric field strength. Got to be careful with our E's. This is electric field strength. I'll do a little wiggly underline to show that it's not energy. It's a vector um, quantity with a direction. Um, so the size F equals E times Q. So the force is proportional to the charge, which does not change. So the charge has not changed, the force has not changed because of that. The um, force is proportional to the electric field strength, <coughs> which has changed, we think. Let's check. The electric field strength is the voltage over the distance. Has the voltage changed? No, the supply voltage is still the same. The only thing that has changed is this distance. Distance has gone to half. So we're dividing by half D, which would have the effect of doubling the electric field strength. So electric field strength goes to 2E. Therefore the force applied, being proportional to the electric field strength, goes to 2F. There we go, so we've got twice the force, and you would follow through and you'd use words to explain that. Um, part two, the kinetic energy gained by an electron. Um, the kinetic energy is, um, is half mv squared. So the mass of the electron obviously doesn't change, so we've got to consider if that velocity will change. Um, we could look at our calculation from the voltage above to see whether it will gain more energy also. Remember that the voltage... Um, is <coughs> excuse me. Um, the voltage is related to the electric field strength by electric field strength times by the distance coming from um, our equation up here above. Um, electric field strength is volts per meter, voltage over distance. So we've rearranged that, um, and oh, let's put that little wiggly underline so we've got that very clear. Um, our electric field strength we've seen has doubled to two e. But our distance, remember our distance has halved to d over 2. So what we're going to find is our, um, our, our voltage has not changed. Um, so our voltage has not changed. Because the 2e from twice the electric field strength is going to be cancelled out by the d over 2 from halving the distance. So the actual voltage has not changed. That's very interesting. Um, and um, where are we now? Okay, and if the voltage has not changed, go back to the voltage formula, change color so we've got a bit. voltage is the energy, no wiggly underline this time, we'll put it EK over uh, charge. The charge hasn't changed, and if the voltage hasn't changed, the kinetic energy hasn't changed, so therefore the kinetic energy won't have changed. That's really interesting. And I guess that comes down to the doubling of the electric field strength, meaning it's doing twice the amount of work um, on the um, electron in that same shorter distance, in that half the distance. So the total amount of energy should not change. So kinetic energy, um, no change. There we go. Any further questions? That's it.